Hi everybody and thanks for checking out this video on how to line a soccer field. The first thing we're going to do is go through some general observations on field size. Field sizes typically follow age groups. The smaller the kid, the smaller the field. In our club, U7 and younger play a 4v4 game. U8 to U9 play 6v6, U10 to U12, 8v8, and the older ones play on a full size field. Again, this determines the size of the field, the size of the boxes, and the dimensions. To help make things easier, I've included a couple of URLs. One is to this presentation, and the other includes an Excel spreadsheet that calculates some of the field dimensions that we'll use for the boxes. Before lining the field, you'll need to pull together some materials. The first is a couple of 300 foot measuring tapes and one 400 foot measuring tape. You'll also need a large reel of mason line. A thousand feet should be sufficient. In addition, you'll need 15 to 20 field stakes. You'll need a mallet or a hammer, a lining machine, plenty of paint, and a calculator that handles square root functionality. Square roots are key for measuring the diagonal on the field. With all the materials in hand, you can begin lining the field. The first thing you'll need is the length and the width of the field and the dimensions. These are usually given to you by your league or club. In this presentation, we'll be using an 11 v 11 field in our example. In our club, that's a U14 field. Based on the length and width, we'll calculate the diagonal to ensure that our corners are square and our lines are parallel. To do this, we're going to need to dust off our grammar school math books and pull out the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In our example, we're going to use a length of 300 feet and a width of 60 feet. 300 times 300 is 90,000. 60 times 60 is 36,000. 90,000 plus 36,000 is 126,000 square feet. Taking the square root of that is 354.96 feet, or roughly estimated at 355 feet. Again, you're going to need a 400 foot tape measure to measure a full size field. After that, you're going to stake your corners, and then you're going to pull a string from one corner to the next and use your lining machine to draw the line. Complete the entire perimeter, and then measure out on each side half of the length, in our case 150 feet. Once the center line is drawn, you'll be ready to complete the center circle. The dimensions should be provided to you by your league. Start by putting a stake in the center of the circle and then drawing a tape out to the required length. While keeping the tape tight, walk the circle, marking the line along the way, and then finish up with your lining machine. Finally, complete the corner arcs which extend one yard into the field. Next, we'll measure our boxes. If you've downloaded the Excel spreadsheet, it'll help immensely in putting this together. First thing you want is to measure the width of the field. And then, you'll want to know what the width of the goal is. In our example, we're using a regulation size field, which means a 24-foot goal. But if your field size is smaller, for younger ages, then you'll have to account for smaller size goals as well, with these dimensions. Your box dimensions start at the goal post and go away, out towards the touch line, and then into the field of play by the same dimensions. So a six yard box extends away from the goal post six yards and then into the field of play six yards. The first thing you'll do is an extended tape down the entire width of the field on the goal line. And then you'll put markings following the guides below on one, two, five, and six. Your 18 yard box will start on one and end on six and your six yard box will start on two and end on five. Using the dimensions below, put a stake in at 1, 2, 5, and 6. Next, you'll measure the touch line. I'll mark points 7 and 8 going down the touch line. 7 represents the 6 yard box, 8 represents the 18 yard box. I'll do the same on both sides and then drag a tape from 7 to 7 and from 8 to 8. Using the measurements from 1, 2, 5, and 6, I'll put stakes in as shown. From there, simply drag your mason line around the stakes and use your lining machine to put the lines down. Next, we'll put in the penalty spot and the arches. Your league or club should provide the dimensions. On our regulation size field, the spot is at 12 yards from the center of the goal. Also, measure out from each goal post to make sure it's the same distance. The spot will be used to measure the arch. To do this, put a stake in at the spot, measure out with your tape, 
the required dimensions, with the paint can in hand, slowly walk around the arch and mark the line. This completes measuring the field. Hopefully you found the video helpful. Remember, mark twice and paint once, or invest in a bunch of green paint.